get another voice on that from the president of the German Chemical Society, Barbara Albert. What's your opinion? I have two opinions on that, I'm afraid. Um, as someone who knows that bees are very important for our life, um, and as someone who likes honey, I of course understand the concerns of the beekeeper. On the other hand, um, as a scientist, I'm not sure whether a very complex problem has only one cause and whether the pesticides are or actually the thing um, which has to be blamed. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe um, that the problem of uh, the death of the bees um, has been going on for many years and it has to be researched, researched better. As an insider, how bad would you say the reputation of the industry is? It has changed a lot over the time. I think nowadays the reputation of chemical industry is not bad anymore. It used to be bad when I was studying chemistry um, because there were many chemical um, chemistry accidents. Um, nowadays, um, chemical industry has done a lot to prove that we have um, sustainable production, that we have a good waste management. And all of us together, also the chemical societies have um, um, have installed, for example, um, laboratories for children to show them the fascination, how, how, how fascinating chemistry is. But can you ever say that chemical spills, explosions, catastrophes like that are going to be past tense, ancient history? That's, that's what I hope, of course. <laughs> um, I think um, a lot of things have been changed mm. and people feel a huge responsibility to run chemical processes in an appropriate way so society in Germany can rely on those who are running these chemical productions. Well, that brings me to my question, how important is the industry for Germany and for the world? Um, the chemical industry is a, on the one hand side a, a huge employer and um, it's the third biggest in Germany, the third biggest industrial sector and um, a lot of innovations either directly come out of the chemical industry. Um, it's called an innovation, the motor and engine mm -hmm. of innovation. Um, and on the other side, um, um, uh, chemistry often contributes to innovations that isn't seen. It's kind of hidden in the product. What, what are some of the hidden examples? Oh, a lot of people are now, in terms of discussion of the energy conversion at the moment, or the, the conversion of the energy systems in Germany, they discuss, for example, these wind generators. and. Um, it is well known for chemists and material scientists that, for example, magnets, new magnets have to be developed and these are chemical substances consisting of several metals um, which um, um, can be used to run these um, wind generators. There's a lot of complicated theory involved. How do you get young people interested? Um, we, we do a lot and we love to do it. Um, we want to show the society um, how chemistry contributes to the high standard of living in Germany. And we start with very small children. We go to the kindergartens, um, we have um, children's lab, um, we show to the society what kind of chemistry is done nowadays. And even politicians have recognized chemical industry to be very responsible for use of resources and energies. So progress is certainly being made. I hope so. <laughs> thank you very much for your thank time. You.